In this video, you will learn about the dandelion plant, where it grows, how to harvest it, and how to safely feed it to your rabbits to reduce your feed bill. This little flower is what we call the humble dandelion. In Latin, this is called Taraxicum officinale. In German, we're looking at Levinsal. Or maybe we're listening to that. Dandelion means lion's tooth, probably referring to these leaves. They're pretty jagged. But what do the rabbits call dandelions? Rabbits call dandelions delicious. These are dandelions that are growing underneath a rabbit area. So this is the rabbit area right here. The droppings fall down to the bottom. These dandelion plants themselves are quite larger than other dandelions in the yard. We're gonna give you a little comparison here. So dandelions typically grow better in rich soil. So this is a dandelion that doesn't have access to those rabbit droppings, this tiny one. You can see the size of the stems. You can see the size of the flower heads. Even the leaves on these dandelions are bigger. The, the more rich soil you have for your dandelions, such as the soil that's getting fed from this rabbit area, the better dandelions are gonna grow. And rabbits absolutely love eating these. What part of the dandelion can you feed your rabbit? I have a handful here. This is just a handful that I picked. We have leaves, we have flowers that are open here. We have little buds and flowers that are not open. You can feed all of this to your rabbit. You can feed this just like this, or you can actually start harvesting these plants and drying them out and saving them and feed them to your rabbit in the winter. One thing that might happen is these heads will turn white as they dry out and um, they're going to have little seed packets. Those tend to fly away in the wind and then they create other dandelions. When you pick these dandelions, there's a white sap that comes out of the ends. This is like a latexy white sort of sap. That happens with all the dandelions when you pick them. That's okay to feed to the rabbits. Here's another difference in dandelions. This dandelion has quite a red stem and this one has a green stem. Both of these are okay to feed to your rabbits, no matter what the color of the stem. One consideration is wherever you're getting your dandelions from, make sure that there were no chemicals sprayed in that area. And if you're going to somebody else's property, definitely make sure they didn't use chemicals and also make sure you have permission to go there. When digging up dandelions, this is the tool that we're gonna use. It has quite a point to it. You can use this for gardening. You can use this for digging up dandelions. The soil that you dig up your dandelion from may make it easier or more difficult to dig it up. You want to dig it up at a very small angle, slightly parallel to it. You can get all the root or none of the root. It doesn't matter. If you leave the root down, oh, we got two. If you leave the root down, then the base of this root, it broke. That white latex sap is coming out. It's coming out of here as well. And there's still going to be parts of the root. This is called the tap root. This long section of the root, this is how the dandelions survive through the winter. These are very deep. They go deep into the ground. And these, if you leave part of it in there, the only thing that's going to happen is happily your dandelions will grow back. Dandelions in the spring are some of the first flowers to bloom. You're looking at a bee. 
on this dandelion. These dandelions, none of them were treated for chemicals, and the insects absolutely love these flowers. I don't know who likes them more, the bees or the rabbits. This section of soil that we're going to try taking up some dandelions from isn't as rocky as the other section. It still has some rocks in it in places. You heard a little snap when we're pulling it out. We have a bit of a longer section of this taproot coming out, but we still didn't get the whole thing. This is one plant. It looks like it could be more than one, but there's one root. This is one plant. A lot of dandelions. This entire plant would be perfect to dry. We just use a wire drying rack, or you can lay them out in the driveway. You just kind of flatten it out, and it'll dry. The sun is perfect for drying it quickly. Dandelions will grow in the sun, they'll grow in the shade, they'll grow with the sheep yelling at them, or not. Here's another great dandelion plant. We're going to take out this oak leaf, we won't feed that to the rabbits. You'll notice there's a slug on this one. In the shade, we don't really want that slug on there. We don't want to feed the slug to the, to the rabbits. But in the shade, you might find different insects than you'd find in the sun. For me, while walking, one of the things I love to see are the dandelions. So when we just kind of wander around Take a look. We see where are the dandelions growing? Where aren't they growing? We have a lot of land to choose dandelions from. There's dandelion plants down here that aren't blooming yet. They're just in the grass. And of course there's dandelion plants. This one's being visited by a wasp. Wasps are hungry too. They are in the orchard with the sheep screaming. Here's an apple blossom. This is on one of the Wolf River trees. Those apple sticks, as you know from the previous videos, are excellent for feeding to your rabbits. Here are the pear blossoms. Those are also excellent for feeding to your rabbits. And down below, underneath those pear trees, you will find these humble dandelions. Absolutely wonderful for feeding to your rabbits. Now, can you eat them? Yes. If you would like to join in with your rabbit eating dandelions, you certainly can. You can eat the whole plant. But one thing you want to know is as the weather starts getting more hot, these leaves, which go perfect in salads after you wash them, these become a little bit more bitter the hotter and the drier that the climate is. So as we move from spring, where it's wet and cool, the dandelion leaves are going to taste less bitter. As you move on through summer, those leaves in a salad are going to taste more bitter. If you want that flavor, it can be a nice little spice. This is tall grass in a field. Here's a comparison. It's a bit shorter through here, and it becomes more tall over here. You notice that there's only a couple dandelions in the tall grass. Dandelions, typically, if it's a tall field of grass, you won't really find them growing as well as something like this that's been cut. So just something to consider. A lot of dandelions that cut grass, that's what they like better than a field such as this. So if you're trying to grow dandelions, that's just something you wanna keep in mind. Or if you're looking for them, where to find them, some hints are cut grass. That's a great place. This is a really small spindly dandelion plant. That's because the soil that this is in is very poor soil. So you will notice that difference of the plant. You're not gonna get as full, luscious looking leaves. And the flowers themselves are honestly just a little bit pathetic. But they can't help it. That's the soil they're in. This is the heavily shaded north side of a building. And even in the shade, you're going to have dandelions trying to grow. Here's one such plant. And they will grow. We're in the garden from last year, and dandelions will even happily grow where you definitely don't want them to, such as in your vegetable garden.
Your rabbits may start eating the dandelions from any part. Nutmeg here started eating from the end. Sometimes they eat the flowers, sometimes they chew the leaves. It all depends. If you notice that you've been feeding your rabbit dandelions for quite a while and you're giving lots of dandelion, you might start noticing the rabbit actually eating only its favorite parts and leaving the rest. This is an indication that it is okay to feed different types of foods besides the dandelions to your rabbit. All right, it's definitely sunny out. Thank you so much for watching this video on the humble dandelion and feeding your rabbits and reducing the feed bill. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you want more videos on keeping your rabbits and reducing that feed bill, keeping that feed bill down, especially if you're producing rabbits for something like Angora. Thank you.